Hi, it's Serena from HighlyRecommendedBooks.com and I'm here today to tell you why I loved and why I highly recommend Louise Penny's new book, The Madness of Crowds. Now this is her 17th book in a series of books that feature the lead character of Armand Gamache. Gamache is the head of homicide for the Sûreté, which is the police of Quebec, Canada. He doesn't live in Quebec. He lives in a small village called Three Pines, which is apparently in a forest, not even on a map. It's so small. And he lives there with an oddly cultured, arty, odd group of neighbors. And when I say odd, as an example, uh, one of them is a an acclaimed poet. Her name is Ruth. And Ruth has a pet duck, which she carries around with her everywhere in the book, in everywhere in all of the books. And the duck doesn't say quack, quack, quack. It says fuck, 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 which just every time I read it just makes me laugh out loud. And in this story, Gamash has been asked to provide security for a guest lecturer who's going to give a speech at a university out just outside of Three Pines. And again, this is in this really weird stagnant time between Christmas and New Year's. And everybody, including Gamash, thinks that no one will attend this, this lecture and that it's really not a big deal. And he seems confident until he does some research into the politics of this lecturer and realizes that her opinions are personally repulsive and repugnant to him and divisive and splitting the country in half. Very similar to the politics going on in the United States right now. And, but he's already given his word to the chancellor that he will provide security. So setting him up for this moral dilemma of having to protect someone who he personally would probably prefer were no longer living. Anyway, he's there, he, he provides security, an event happens during the lecture and things just boil over and boil over. And the, the boiling over is made worse by the fact that this woman doesn't leave right after the lecture. She's decided to stay in Three Pines with her friend, the chancellor. And at the same time, there's a young woman who is a Nobel Prize um, nominee who is a very young woman who grew up on the continent of Africa and suffered atrocities during the genocidal wars there. And she is prickly and difficult and controversial in her own right. So in a time period that should just be happiness and snowball fights and bonfires, we have a just an ugly soup of people who are all in Three Pines and all of them have reasons for wanting one of these two people dead and someone does die. And then Gamash, you know, he's already been investigating the attempt on Robinson's life and now he has a murder that he has to investigate. And, you know, as we all know, the past has long arms. And here, events that took place decades before that seem tangential at the beginning become very relevant. And Penny just weaves this mixture of present and past, not in one of those chapter chapter kind of ways, but just explaining to us how it all works and giving us clues without giving us clues. So you really will not know who it was, but you 
are just so invested in all of the people and holding your breath and worrying that it is not someone closely associated to Gamash himself. Now, again, this book talks a lot about the pandemic and it was an important plot point for Penny. She says in the acknowledgments that she started writing it in March of 2020 and that it was originally in her mind, it was going to be set during the pandemic, but ultimately she changed her mind and set it after the pandemic had begun to wane and there was hope and people could see a future. And there's sort of a mantra during the book in, in French, it's ça va bien aller, in English, all will be well. And that is a, a catchphrase that Professor Robinson is, uses, but Penny's throwing it out there to tell us the same thing. Ça va bien aller, it's all gonna be okay. And if we just stay away from the madness of crowds, title of the book. So it really, you know, everything kind of comes full circle there. So I highly recommend this book. If you love Gamache, you're gonna love this book. If you don't know anything about him, you're still gonna love this book. It's a really great murder mystery. And you could take all of the social consciousness parts of the story out of it, and it would still be a great book. But the social consciousness and the pathos there and the complexities of the characters and the humor just make this a top-notch book. And it is no wonder that her books always land on the New York Times bestseller list. So read this book. You will love it. I loved it. As I said, I highly recommend it. Now, don't forget, sign up for my newsletter at highlyrecommendedbooks.com. Go there, you'll see there's a, a button you can click. It's so easy. If you sign up, you'll be on my newsletter list that will automatically entitle you to be eligible for a prize giveaway. I do a drawing once a month, it's free. You'll get, if you win, you'll get a box filled with really great things books and tote bags and mugs and candy. It's great. So sign up. And again, you know, I post on Instagram and Facebook, so you can find me there as well. Have a great day. And I hope you enjoy whatever book you're reading.